This is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this screencast, I'm going to show how we can um, put together a single page website with Oxygen that is going to have these features. It's going to have a fixed header row and uh, automatic highlighting of the nav menu items on scrolling and smooth scrolling to sections and back to top button at the bottom right. And we are going to build it using these two plugins. So here is a sample or a working demo of what we are going to put together. The first thing that uh, we can see is that when we scroll down after scrolling some 300 pixels, um, the header is going to become fixed, at least one of the two header rows. And um, the menu items, when we click, they smoothly take us to the corresponding sections and there is a back to top button at the bottom right which we can click to go to the top and as we scroll down the uh, menu items will automatically get highlighted when the corresponding section is in the view. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's first create um, a navigation menu by going to appearance and menus. I'm just going to call it main menu. Let's add a link to the home page. And uh, let's start adding links to the sections that we have on the home page. Okay, so let's start with this testimonial section. I'm going to right click on this and inspect this with uh, the built-in developer tools. And here you can see that this section has an ID. I'm going to copy this, that ID and put a hash since it's an ID. And I'm gonna give this a link text. Okay, so the next one is showcase. I'm going to just repeat the process. And next one is info boxes. Next is experience. Okay, so what we need to do is to um, basically edit the main template and replace the um, navigation menu with the one that we created, but I think by default Oxygen is going to automatically display the first uh, registered menu. Uh, so let me just go actually go here and reload. Yeah, so that, that's right. So it's automatically showing these. So there's nothing to... Um, do at this stage with respect to editing the main template. Um, I'm just going to install this plugin page scroll to ID. Um, I just realized that we need to actually make the uh, header fixed. So we in fact need to edit the 
uh, main template which is the site-wide catch-all template Okay, so I'm going to um, select the header builder and go to sticky and click on this checkbox to enable the sticky header and select the second row well actually select the first row and click this hide in sticky because I just want this one uh, to be shown all the time and just to keep it simple I'm going to delete this uh, text link component Okay, so if I reload the page now, you can see that the header becomes fixed, but we need to give it a background color. So let's select the header builder and give it the white background. Now let's go to um, settings and page scroll to ID. And here we need to specify the offset. Um, whenever there is a fixed element at the top, um, you want to specify its uh, selector um, here so that the scroll position gets offset by the height of that fixed element. So in this case, um, you can see that this header row has this particular ID so I'm just going to um, grab that and since it's an ID I'm going to put a hash and put the ID of that uh, header row and that's the only change that we need to do here so here if I refresh Okay, so you can now see that when I click on the um, menu item links, it smoothly scrolls to the corresponding section. So this is something that page scroll to ID um, does. Okay, so what we need to do next is to set up this highlighting so that when a particular section is in view the corresponding menu item gets uh, highlighted like this so here you can see um, in the classes and highlight options area that uh, this particular class name uh, is going to be automatically added um, to the navigation menu item when the corresponding section comes into view. Uh, so for example, right now we have this testimonial section in view. So if I right click on this testimonials link and inspect it, um, you can see that this A, which is the anchor tag, it has this class, the highlight class. So um, what I'm going to do now is to basically select the list item and click on this toggle element state um, link or button and click on hover and now when we go to A you can see that um, this is the background color that I'm interested in so I'm going to copy that And what I want to do is I want to copy this CSS selector for the uh, menu link items and also um, this particular class and we can go to manage style sheets I'm just gonna create a new folder by my name and select that and add a new style sheet called say main 
and inside this main um, I'm going to add the CSS uh, block like that so here what we are saying is you locate um, the anchor links or the anchor elements within the navigation menu that has this particular highlight class and for that we want to set that background color and we want to set the color to white so once we save that come here and refresh so here now you can see that when that particular section is in view the corresponding menu item it gets highlighted okay and in this particular case it doesn't make sense to have this underline so what I could do is select the uh, the menu element and go to hover and active and just remove the hover border bottom and active border bottom All right. so let's install the next plugin Okay, so we need to tick this box to um, enable this plugin and here you can select what image should appear this is the one that I like I prefer and click save changes refresh and you can see that um, the back to top uh, image appears and even that is uh, smoothly scrolling to the top okay I hope you found this helpful bye for now